Hi, welcome to yet another episode of Trending Tuesdays with Trend Micro. I'm your host Ankit Guglani, and I've been with Trend for a little over two years now and working as a pre-sales consultant. The topic which we have chosen for today is identity threat detection and response. But before we deep dive, let me summarize on the last couple of episodes where my colleagues talked about operationalizing zero trust with internet access and private access capabilities that are inherent to Trend Vision One platform and helps in securing the organization's digital ecosystem. And today we talk about the identities. So if you look at the statistics, more than 80% of the attacks involve an identity breach in some shape or form. As a result, identity protection is gaining momentum and has been the hottest topics in the recent times. This typically doesn't mean that network perimeter and endpoint security is fading away or is not relevant in today's time that is still prevalent and requires utmost protection detection and response capabilities. But since the center of universe has shifted from the data centers to the identities owing to various digital transformations across the entities and across the organizations, we believe that identities are anywhere and everywhere and accessing not just corporate applications, but also non-corporate applications, SaaS applications, and even your social networking websites from their corporate devices and also from the personal and handheld devices. As a result, identity protection is becoming important and identity threat detection and response does that job for you pretty well. Identity threat detection response is a fairly new acronym and every organization has its own definition for it. The way we define it is a set of tools and procedures which perform a identity hygiene based on the best practices, say for example identification of accounts uh, which are stale, accounts with weak authentication or overprivileged rights, B detection and response of identity related risks and last but not the least which is of prime importance is in-depth context of the identity so that we can better investigate and analyze the threats which are coming in. Now you would come up and ask me Ankit, IDAM or IAM tools are handled by a different set of teams altogether whereas cyber incidents or threat hunting is typically handled by the SOC team. So are we ripping and replacing something here? The simple answer to that is a big no. We believe that securing identities is a team sport and the way we do it is we integrate XDR and IAM together in a single platform which is the Trend Vision 1 platform and today we integrate with majority of the leading IAM players like Microsoft, Ping Identity, Okta and even with certain privilege access management tools like CyberArk to name a few. Now without much ado, let us straight away jump onto the console to showcase what are our identity threat detection response capabilities and how we better secure the identities and bring value for our customers and better investigate the threats which are coming in. So this is the console of the Vision 1 platform which can be accessed over the public internet. By default, it opens up the executive dashboard. Let me click on the exposure overview from identity hygiene perspective based on the best practices. If I scroll down, it will give me a view of what are the accounts with weak authentication? What are the accounts that increases the attack surface? And what are the accounts that have excessive privileges? Now here we clearly see that there are eight total accounts which are with weak authentication. If I click on view details, it will provide me granular details of what these users are and why the accounts are with weak authentication. So here we see password expiration is disabled. There may be certain other reasons as well like weak password, or uh, usage of certain legacy authentication mechanisms. What are the Azure AD roles, whether it's a global administrator or certain least privileged accounts. In the remediation actions also, we clearly see that it offers us to enable password expiration or enable multi-factor authentication. In fact, we go to the extent that we can create the security playbooks and a workflow can be defined wherein a ITSM ticket or a notification can be sent to the I IDAM administrator as well as the SOC analyst that these are the users with weak authentication and what is the reason for that. If I scroll down and go back, these are the accounts that increases the attack surface. So there are nine such accounts and attack surface is basically all possible entry points through which an intruder can come in and impose a threat to the organization. There are nine such accounts and I can go ahead and view the details of these as well. Let me open up the attack surface discovery page now and go to the accounts page because we are talking about identity threat detection and response. Here we have the domain accounts as well as the service accounts. So these are the user accounts which are linked to this particular domain. It gives me a view of 
what is the risk score of individual user what is the user type what is the base location and to job title of that particular user to further dr drill down on what is the latest risk score and what has been the history of this particular user it gives me the view of that in the past 30 days what has been the user's risk score we clearly see here that 71 is the risk score which is pretty high and the reason for that is majorly account compromise and the second one is activity and behavior if i scroll down it gives me a view of account activity by location and we clearly see that there have been unsuccessful logon attempts from across the globe which clearly says that the risk indicator would be either account compromise leaked account identification or potential impersonation attack because this is an impossible travel which a single user can do in such a short span of time now once we have identified the risk indicators obviously we would want to take certain response actions which can be taken right from this screen itself wherein we have an option to either disable the user account or force sign out the user and force password reset for that particular user and at the end of the day the major objective is to strengthen the cyber security posture of the organization and protect the business critical applications we can enforce zero trust actions as well and block the access of both the internal applications as well as the cloud apps if i click on asset profile it gives me a view of the baselining which we have done for the user that is what is the activity occurrence whether the user is working over the weekdays or even on the weekends as well since Adel once as a user works over the weekdays in case we see any attempt happening over the weekends it will trigger an alert and the threat investigators and threat hunters can investigate further whether it's a true access or someone else is trying to intrude into the environment similarly we clearly see frequently used operating systems are android and windows in case there's an attempt happening on linux we can take an action by triggering an alert if i click on asset graph this is one of the crucial aspects which shows the asset relationships which provides a lot of context to the threat investigators that what this user is how he is behaving in the organization to which users to which endpoints and to which servers it is communicating to and accordingly threat hunting team can investigate other associated assets as well so these are the identity threat detection and response capabilities our platform possesses as on date and going forward we shall enhance the features like we plan to integrate with human capital management systems like oracle hcm and workday this will allow the security investigators and analysts to get a view of joiner mover and lever policies so that they can better visualize and respond to the threats in a much better way that's all from my side today hope you enjoyed the session and stay tuned for the next episode of trending tuesdays thank you